Hi, I'm Angie. I'm Rhonda. And we are Adventures, Adventures in, in No Madness. Madness. We have just spent the last 12 days at the RTR here in Quartzsite, Arizona, and we would like to share with you whether we're going to come back or not. We're going to share our key takeaways and see if it's the right fit for you if you want to come. Stay tuned. One of the key takeaways we've uh, come across here at the RTR is everybody's willingness to help each other. That's really what it's about, and I think it's probably our number one takeaway from this entire event. There's a big uh, bulletin board up at the main stage area where there's all kinds of cards of people offering services and people needing help as well. Uh, one of the reasons that Bob Well started the RTR was to help people um, that are living in small vehicles and vans and ways for them to be able to, to travel and live comfortably in those, those smaller vehicles. So this event really has come to, I think, really, uh, really signify you know, what it is to be generous and to help each other out. And we've actually seen that on numerous occasions. One Facebook post I read on the RTR chatter was uh, one woman, during the massive rainstorm we had, one woman was helping a, another guy uh, cover his stuff up with a tarp. Uh, while he was away helping somebody else, he was helping someone that was away helping away someone else. So it was a, a really kind of a fun thing to read. The second takeaway is the opportunity to learn. The model here is that each person has something to contribute. You have something to learn from every other person here, and you have something to teach every other person here. Now, some of the things you will learn are, hopefully most of the things you will learn are what to do, and sometimes you will learn the things not to do. We're just starting out on our journey. We've done a lot of tent camping, backpacking, that kind of thing. We still had the opportunity to go to seminars and we're still learning. We're also learning by just being invited into to people's homes on wheels, basically, and seeing the little tweaks and tricks that they've used and their, whether it's a, an appliance or some little gadget that they've picked up along the way to make things easier or for things to work better. So that one was a big part, I believe, of the RTR. Our third takeaway is the, the ease of making friends here. We are both huge introverts, so meeting people and making friends isn't as easy as uh, some of the extroverts out there. Uh, the thing is we're finding that there's a lot of nomads that people who live out here in the boonies. A lot of them are introverts, and that's why they like to live this way. We certainly are. We um, didn't camp around a lot of people. We were out um, you know, about a mile from the main stage area, but we made friends just on our daily walk back and forth between the, the main stage and here. And it was really easy too. People are, uh, like Rhonda said, so generous in opening up their homes. Uh, their homes on wheels and allowing you to go you know they want to invite you in and, and so it's really easy to make friends here like extremely easy and honestly we didn't really try that hard but yeah. we have uh we, we spent could have... one afternoon specifically trying to walk well two afternoons mm -hmm. walking in different areas that we hadn't been which allowed us to meet even more people yeah so had we tried even harder we would have made even more friends so we had a really great time meeting the people we did and extremely easy for all types of people, no matter how shy you are, no matter how introverted you are, uh, you'll, you will make friends here, guaranteed you will make friends here. The number four takeaway is the volunteers here are great. I mean, they are volunteers and they put in lots of hours sitting or standing, uh, sometimes in fairly hot sun, uh, sometimes in the rain. Uh, so I really, I guess, want to say that they have an awesome crew here and uh, nothing but good things to say about them. Yeah, they really went above and beyond. So they, you know, they were out here for really long, long days. You know, traffic control, I know there was some talk ahead of time of it being just crazy because the road is really narrow. Uh, the volunteers did an incredible job of being on the radios and making sure that, well, you know, one way stopped or the other one went through. Uh, through some of those washes that were that were single lane so they did a really great job of that the weights were very minimal a couple minutes at the most anytime we came through there uh, the volunteers did a, a great job of kind of keeping things running when um, when the events were happening on stage and the speakers were going and, and try not to let that go over time or, or run too long so they, they kept things moving right along and they did a great job all the way around 
Our fifth takeaway is how absolutely incredibly creative people can be with all types of living arrangements. The, uh, one of the highlights for me was, I mean, there are so many highlights, but one of the highlights for me was a small car show and tell, and they had a bunch of Priuses and minivans and just uh, you know, a bunch of really small cars that, that people are actually living in. Um, that was a, another sort of key takeaway was that you know, a lot of people are here because they are forced into living out of their cars and they're making the best of it because they can live for free out on BLM property uh, in their cars and their minivans. Uh, people are in incredibly, incredibly creative with those small spaces. Uh, even their larger spaces, we've seen people that did some amazing conversions with uh, cargo vans, cargo trucks, um, box vans, uh, cargo box trailers, I mean, you name it. People have done some absolutely incredible living spaces out of those and that, that crea creativity just blows my mind and it's pretty inspirational too. So if you're thinking about you know, coming to get ideas for your own nomad living, I would highly recommend coming here to get those ideas again because people are so generous with opening up their homes and letting you see what they've done. There's even, uh, they've even had sort of a van build um, not so much of a class, but sort of a get together here to help people with their van build outs. So probably not a big question mark since we have two dogs is that the RTR is dog friendly and whether you're sitting in camp or going to one of the seminars, you can take your pets along. Now they do ask that they stay on leash and for good reason. I mean, there's the protection of dogs potentially getting in fights. Some dogs get really stressed out. Maybe they've been away from people a lot and suddenly they're in within hundreds or thousands of people and lots of other dogs. So I think the rule around that is perfect. We saw cats um, in saw pens birds. outside. <laughs> we saw one bird uh, and lots and lots of dogs. Um, I think in the arts community, they were even creating little booties for dogs. So one of the issues you have here with pets is the small cactuses and sharp rocks. So if your dogs aren't used to them, they can step on them. So a lot of people will buy little dog booties. Um, but even in the arts and crafts area, they had a little make booties uh, hour or whatever it was. <laughs> Um, we didn't, unfortunately, didn't make it over there, but that just shows you one of the reasons why we think it is dog and pet friendly. For the seventh and final takeaway, it is what you make of it. And that is to say, you know, if you enter something with a negative attitude and you start just focusing on what's not working, bad weather, a little breeze, whatever it is, the class isn't what you wanted because they're not offering it that way. Maybe the speaker isn't uh, speaking the way you think speakers should speak. If you want to focus that way, then that's what you're going to get out of it. I mean, that's true in life and in general. I think you will see people in life focusing on negativity and that's what they're going to take away from just about everything and all of those experiences. We have really tried to focus on the positive and certainly things go wrong and we get irritated or agitated, but then you just got to let that go and you focus on the positive. And we, our personal experience is a lot of positive coming out of the RTR. Yeah, for me, it's been all positive. It really is what you make of this whole, uh, this whole entire event has been absolutely phenomenal and we're so glad that we came to it. Uh, it, it really is what you make of it. If you want a party atmosphere, if you want to be camped with a whole bunch of people, you can, you can totally do that. Near the entrance uh, down there, um, there was, it was very congested, uh, you know, lots of RVs packed in, especially during the first weekend. You can also, if you don't want to camp that way, you can camp farther out on Skadden Wash or you can come up the mile, mile plus, there's another half mile up past us. You can camp out here and be very well spaced out and still meet people up here. So if you, it really depends on the atmosphere you want. You can have a, a quiet uh, experience or you can have, you know, party experience if that's, if that's what you want out of it. And you can go to talent shows, or yeah. you can go to the big bonfires. So there's lots of that. And, and mostly, I mean, even if you want to walk around in the evening, people will uh, invite you into the campfire. I would recommend, if you're not planning on building your own campfire, it's like bring your own wood and so that you can donate. It's kind of like going to a party and have a bottle of wine with you or whatever. So uh, that's one of my sort of 
extra mm-hmm. takeaways. <laughs> <laughs> bonus! <laughs> bonus! <laughs> bonus takeaway. <laughs> <laughs> so would we come back again next year based on all of these takeaways? Hell yes, we are already planning on it. More we, thumbs up. Yeah, more thumbs up. I mean, it, this was this is great. We learned a lot. We met some great friends. Um, there's also different different places you can camp as far as interest. There was a music camp area. There was an art camp area. There was an LGBT area. Uh, we didn't see that until probably a few days after we were here but it was too much of a hassle to break down our, our camp and we really liked where we were at anyway because our area was pretty kind of boxed in as well but uh, lots of different areas and and uh, you know depending on what your interests are if you want music you can be kind of in the, the music group down there and have music every night so it's uh, again such an incredible experience and we can't wait to come back next year the tent camping part of it was great but uh, we're over it now <laughs> we like to backpack and we think that's a little bit of a uh, different um, kind of a scenario than it is car camping in yeah. a tent that leaks like a sieve. <laughs> um, but anyway, so again, just huge positives, and we are super excited about coming back. Would we recommend it to you? Absolutely, I would recommend it. If you have any inkling at all of wanting to be a nomad, if you're curious about how other people do it, if you want to learn about, you know, solar and boondocking and you know, just on and on and on. Uh, really Ways to stay safe. What else? Yeah, just, I mean, just so many different seminars. Tips Bob and tricks. On his uh, website, the way, schedule. Ways to cook, food. I mean, oh, the kitchen gadgets ones yeah, was one of our favorites. I mean, know, there's just know. a lot of stuff. We didn't go to all everything. I'm kind of, you get tired of, like, just sitting and going to, doing the same thing every day. So uh, we just picked what we wanted to go to. But yeah, you can certainly great. go to every single seminar, and there's three a day. Uh, unless they get rained out or something. So we are planning to come back next year. We'll be a little bit more comfortable in our 21 foot escape travel trailer. And I would highly recommend um, that if you are thinking about going, don't listen to the drama because a lot of the drama that we did read about ahead of time was just made up drama BS. I mean, none of that- Exaggeration. None of that materialized at all. So uh, we were, like I said, again, we're gonna come back and if you have any inkling, I would, we would highly recommend you come too. It's an absolutely fun event. So thank you so much for watching our video. Please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. We always really appreciate that. Plus the little bell if you wanna get notifications when we post new stuff, which we try to do once a week. Until next time. Happy travels and be a happy camper. One of our big takeaways from being our what the <laughs> this is it. We learned to talk. <laughs> Can't you tell? <laughs> okay. Woo. Are you ready? Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm not.